So to help break all of this down and a whole lot more, let's welcome an adjunct professor at Montclair State University, Dan Geltrude. Dan, good morning. Okay, so let's talk about these mortgage rates. So they've jumped from 7.01% to 7.05%. Now, even though rates over the past weeks had actually been on the decline, which is hard to believe, they consistently stayed near that 7% point. Dan, are you surprised to see these rates increase? Actually, I'm not. And the reason for that is, Alex, is because inflation is simply not going away. And that's what's driving this. So the obvious impact of these high interest rates is it makes it more expensive every month for homeowners. It also keeps inventory of homes on the market very, very low. Why? People can't move because mm -hmm. the interest rates are too high. So the impact of all this ends up being higher prices, higher payments, higher rates. It's a terrible combination, but nothing is going to change, Alex, until inflation starts to come down. And I don't see that in our near future. Yeah, you just took the words right out of my mouth, Dan. I was about to say, I, I don't see that happening. I know millennials and even the younger generations are saying, I don't know if I will ever be able to purchase a home. Um, so Samsung is preparing to face its first walkout as a South Korean union urges members to protest the company demanding higher wages. Okay, so the union accusing Samsung of worker repression has already staged smaller protests outside the company's headquarters over just the past few weeks. So Samsung is the world's largest maker of memory chips and this walkout could see a whole fifth of its workforce refusing to work completely. Dan, what repercussions do you see spiraling from this potential strike? Well, one might think that, hey, what, what goes on with a strike in South Korea? I, that doesn't impact me. Well, you want to know what? With this global economy and global markets, it absolutely does mm -hmm. because of what you just said. They are one of the world's largest chip makers and because chips these days literally go into uh, every product that's on the market when you have companies going on strike like this why for higher wages which means what we go back to that dirty word inflation mm -hmm. so if samsung ultimately is going to have to pay more wages to get those laborers back to work you know what's going to happen to the price of chips it's going up and that's going to mean everything is going to get more expensive for us. Yeah, Dan, I mean, you hit the nail on the head um, in your earlier point when you say Americans are saying, well, this is overseas. It doesn't affect me. Of course it affects you, especially when it comes to us being reliant on these other foreign countries for products. Um, all right, let's talk American Eagle. We haven't talked about them. So they are quadrupling their net income compared to where it was last year with sales increasing about a whopping $60 million. But despite the seemingly tremendous opening quarter, the company's revenue narrowed fell short of Wall Street expectations. The clothing company has stated it's taking a cautious view of the second half of the year, saying they're concerned about where interest rates could go, of course, and they're uncertain about how the upcoming election could impact the company. Dan, do you think American Eagle is right in this approach? Uh, yes, I do, actually, because I don't think that this is actually bad news for American Eagle. Although their revenue came in slightly under expectations, their bottom line, wow, they really crushed it. So what does that tell you? It means that they are carefully managing expenses. They're also focusing in on inventory control, which means their product assortment. So I believe that they are uh, making the company efficient and ready for anything in the future. Now, if they can get those revenues back up, I think they're going to be really well positioned in the second half of the year, despite of the uncertainties that are out there. Yeah, I think they're playing a very, very smart game right now. And other companies should certainly look to American Eagle. Um, Dan Geltrude, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It is always a pleasure to have you on. Thanks, Alex.